All right, yo. Here we go again. All right, we're on the tail end of this uh, first fight on the main card, so let's get to going. Let's get rocking. All right, so. All right, first fight's over, so we'll go ahead and get set up for Mazo versus Agapopa. Man, what was the other fight? Jackson, man. What's it? Yeah, Jackson, he was busted up, man. All right, almost time. Gutierrez versus Colaris is over, so let's get ready for this one. Let's get ready for the second WMMA fight of the night. All right, y'all, y'all, come on in. Got a few y'all in here. Come on in because we're going to get set up for this Mazo Agapova. We're going to call this one next. All right. Almost time, almost time. We're still doing the uh, post-fight interviews here, so almost ready. We usually get started here about the five, six minute mark, so. Anybody want to change their picks? I'm still going with Mazo. Still picking Mazo by TKO. You know, or you know, I, I see her winning the fight. Basically, you know, if she can't get her out of there, I see her winning the fight. But yeah, I think there's going to be a stoppage in this one, though, for sure.
Gutierrez. Uh, Aspen Lab versus Norma Dumont. Dang, Lab moves up to a main event. That's crazy. How she move up to a main event? <laughs> I mean, she does need to be at 145. I mean, I haven't talked about it yet, but I got a video coming on that. So, all right, there's Sabina Mazo backstage. She's loosening up, loosening up, getting ready. Loosen it up. You know, she's going to have to, you know, let her hands go in this fight, you know. She could definitely have to let her hands go. You know, you just can't uh, start off slow against Agapova. Um, she almost made that mistake with Justine Keish. Marcus Bell, what's going on? We back again. Man, Loopy. Whew. Lupi Ganita, she went in there and uh, well, let's talk about that real quick before the fight starts. Lupi Ganita, man, she's showing some nice tools early on in her career. Like at this stage, unranked, Lupi Ganita definitely has uh, some nice wrestling, good takedowns, good hands, uh, decent power. You know what I mean? Like she's only what five one, but she can get on the inside. She's tough, man. Lapita Ganitas is tough. You know, um, I thought she beat Jessica Benet, in my opinion. You know, so if this girl can continue to just grow with her defense and, you know, her, her takedown abilities, man, like she's she's going to get it, man. She showed everything today, grappling, her wrestling, striking. She was backing up the taller fighter. And then just that nice, you know, transition from the back to the arm bar. Because, you know, Juarez, she kind of, she turned the wrong way. You know, Juarez turned the wrong way. She turned to her left, right into the arm bar instead of to the opposite direction. And she turned into it. Okay, here we go, y'all. Mazel Agapopo. Oh, never mind. I ain't starting yet. Let's see. Marcus Bell in the building. Mr. Lee said, who did you pick? Dern and Rodriguez. I'm picking, uh, I picked Rodriguez. I did my pick yesterday. Robert Henry, what's going on? Mr. Lee said, would she have beaten Hughes? I don't know. That's a tough call. I think Sam Hughes had the striking to get it done. I think she had the, the striking and the reach to get it done. I did, yeah, I, I think she did. Mark Robinson, what's up? He said, I'm watching live on ESPN Plus. Same here. They had to do the fights early tonight because you know Wilder Fury is tonight. And they can't compete with that. Because yeah, I'm gonna be watching Wilder Fury tonight. So I don't know if y'all saw that uh that Jackson fight, man. That dude was pouring blood. Jackson was leaking. He won. He won. That just shows you shows you what kind of warrior he is, though. So, you know. All right, y'all. I mean, this is a good fight, though. Mazo and Agapova. They've both been out of the octagon for for a minute. Mazo's been out since February, and she hasn't been at flyweight in a year. So her last fight was at bantamweight, and um, Agapo has been out for about 14 months. And these two fighters are young too, you know what I mean? So they they still got a lot to show. Like they ain't gonna come in rusty. You know, it ain't like they're old fighters coming in on a comeback. Uh, they are young, so. There shouldn't be any excuses when it comes down to like no rust excuses. They should be young and fresh. Behind the scenes, they should have been staying active and working. So I expect a good fight. I expect a good fight. So I know when it comes back, they're probably just going to be in the octagon because they're showing a bunch of ads right now. Showing a bunch of ads, so by the time they get here, 
by the time it comes back, yeah, they'll already be there. They ain't gonna do the the walk with these fighters, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, the Hughes fight would have been tough, I think. I was picking Hughes to win that one. But yeah, she's she's tough, man. It was, it was definitely uh definitely a good showing by uh Ganitas. Mark Rob said if Mazo can weather the suspected early storm i got Mazo win a technical striking fight yeah i think she'll weather it i think she'll counter i think she's gonna land some big shots early cedric c said i can't believe you live today <laughs> oh you can why not i'm all excuse me <clears throat> well i did say i was coming on I did say I was coming on um, to do the fights. Where is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, they're both in the octagon. Here we go. They're both 24. Mazo is 5'7". Agapova 5'6, uh, 70 inch reach for Mazo, 68 and a half inch reach for Agapova. So not a big deal, you know, not a big, not a big difference here. Both long, both lanky, both have power, both can strike. You know, they both have explosive, explosiveness. Uh, you know, Agapova dancing again. That's her thing, right? She's always dancing. Let's see. Might as well look ready, boy. Bag of poker, she look ready. I mean, that's how she always does, right? <laughs> All right. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Got like 11 to 12 people in here. This ain't the fight, so don't get mad. We are just doing a round by round together. So chill out. Yeah, I got about 12 people in here. Here we go. How you pronounce his name? Chris Tanoni. All right. All right, Agapova looking game, man. She looking serious. Let's go. Here we go. Round one. All right. Agapova finding her range. She's staying on the back foot. I don't know. Agapova looked taller. Maybe because Mazo was leaning down. Agapova looking a little bit tall. Yeah, tall. Yeah, Mazo's hunched. All right. Good jab. From the southpaw stance by Agapova. She's fighting on a she's fighting in a range here. She's actually letting Mazo come to her. This is interesting. Side to side. Ooh, body attack. Left hand upstairs. Mazo trying to walk her down. Oh, Mazo don't want to walk into nothing. She got to... She got to... Don't walk into that left hand. Mazo has a... Ooh. ooh good body shots by Agapova early on. Yeah, I got to say, Mazo don't want to walk into anything here. Mazo applying the pressure. Already ate some ooh, head shots by Agapova. Ooh, head shots. Agapova's landing some nice shots here. Mazo's nose already red. Volume is the volume is Mazo's weakness. If you go back and look at Marina Moreau, this is her weakness. Good one too by Agapova. Ooh, sharp left hands. Three punch combination by Agapova. Ooh, this is a different fight, y'all. She is striking well off the back foot. Ooh, body, body shots and up to the head. Mazo knows it's red here. 
Ooh, hard right hook to the body from Magapova on the outside. She back dancing. This is nice work, Magapova. Ooh, straight left hand cracks Mazo. Mazo is walking right into that left hand. What is Mazo doing? Like Mazo is stepping right into the power shot. Nah, she got to stop chasing him. All right, Mazo's clinched up here. Mazo trying to press Agapova to the to the cage. Agapova looks strong. Agapova breaks back on the back foot. Ooh, straight left hand down the pipe. Mazo's nose looks busted. Ooh, hard right hook. Hard right hook. Ooh, they trade against the cage. Hard right hook by Agapova. This is the pace Agapova likes, I can see, man. She's calm, picking her shots, not missing, confident. Body kick by Mazo. Ooh. Agapova's measuring the range nicely, man. She's pumping her jab out, just, you know, finding her range. Ooh, hard right hand. She missed with the left, came back hard straight right hand to Mazo's chin. Mazo gonna get knocked out. Ooh, good body kick by Agapova. Ooh, the face is busted. This is Marina Moreau all over again. Ooh, hard body kick by Agapova. Agapova is letting loose here. Ooh. Straight left hand to the body, back upstairs. Ooh, head kick by Agapova. This is just beautiful work. This is the fight that she needs to be fighting. Picking her shots. Mazo, ooh, head kick, open up a cut on her right eye. Damn. Ooh, one, two, three, punch combination, right hook on an exit. Hard body kick by Agapova. Mazo just walking forward. Her, her, ooh, Mazo's eating. Another combination. Mazo pinning that elbow to her body, man. It is red. She's eating some hard body shots, y'all. Hard body, body kicks. Ooh. Still got 40 seconds to work here. Agapova looks at that spinning back fish. She missed. Yeah, Mazo needs to let her come to her. Mazo needs to let Agapova come to her. Ooh. Agapova just moving in one direction, and Mazo can't figure it out. I don't know what she's doing. Stick and move. Ten seconds left. Agapova attacking the legs here. Mazo trying to line up a head kick. That's what she's trying to depend on. It ain't going to work. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. All right. Mark Robinson said Agapova get, is getting through. Yeah, she is. She's landing, man. Rob here said, come on. Yeah, I don't know what she doing. Mazo's certainly tough. She took a lot of shots. Yeah, she's tough, but she ain't. She's not figuring it out that she needs to stay away. Uh, BJ said, yeah, she got to survive the early carnage of Agapova. Yeah, she got to um, stop walking into the left hand. Mobile chicks that can over keep up, keep up the pace. That's the question. I mean, as long as she's landing and they're they're doing damage, I think her confidence is going to go up, and she's going to continue to work. IQ is a problem too. Like Mazo is walking into the left hand, like she's not she's not moving to her left, like she's chasing. All right, here we go, y'all. Round two. Agapova looking very long and rangy and very strong here. Mazo doing a lot of chasing. I don't know, man. Uh, Agapova's keeping range well. You know, she's measuring with the right. She's 
you know, yeah, I see how she's evading those leg kicks too. She'll look like she's going to shoot for a takedown and come over the top with the left hand. You know, that's smart. Sabina Mazo continuing to come straight into the left hand. She ain't keeping her outside foot on the – her lead foot on the outside. Ooh, three-punch combination by Agapova again. Agapova right back to where she started. The circle into her left. Ooh, right hand to the body, left hand up to upstairs. Ooh, left hand to the body. She is ripping the body up, man, and the head. This is nice. Might as well try to close that distance, but she's still not still not landing. She needs some front kicks. She ain't throwing no front kicks. Like she can't pull the trigger tonight or something. Speed is a problem. Ooh, straight straight jab to the body, straight left hand up top. Good. Speed. Ooh. A little left by Mazo, but Agapova landed something in return here. Ooh, Agapova ate a shot there, but Agapova hurt. She, she went on the back foot after one eating one shot. Combination by Agapova. Agapova still fainting. She's looking a little bit, uh, looking a little bit more open to, to shots here. This is Mazo's chance, but she's still sticking Mazo's body. That's why Mazo still giving her a lot of respect. All right, Mazo's starting to catch up, I think, but as far as you know, putting pressure on, but she ain't landing enough. Agapova's still out working her. Or a got a pop what he said what do you call her? Agapova. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Agapova. Oh. Three punch combination body. Two to the head by Agapova. Well Mazo got a strong chin. <laughs> we know that. Yeah, she is just out of range here. She's not using her reach. She's got the reach advantage, but she's not working because she's just not uh, she's not fast enough here. She got her back to the cage like that. She better clinch up or try to get a takedown to win this round. This is a ooh, one, two. This is a good striking clinic by Agapova. Busted nose now. Well, I already seen, like I said, I seen Marina Moreau do this. That's why I said if Agapova does that, she'll win. You know, Marina Moreau, she pieced up. She pieced up Mazo. Marina Moreau, she outworked on the inside and the outside. So this was bound to happen. So look at them strike numbers. 51. Excuse me, 54 in the first round, 54 to 17, 25 to 17. This round, I could tell Agapova's work rate's gone down about half the number, but she's still outlanding. Clenched up. Agapova trying to lock that head in. Looking like she almost got a guillotine. And that's the problem, Robot Chicken. She always got to go for broke because she's too slow. She always lets everybody get a lead on her. 30 seconds, 35 seconds left. 35 seconds left. Hard body kick exchange. Mazo reaching with the right hand, can't land nothing. About 17, 18 strikes for Mazo. About 25, almost 25, 26 for Agapova. Brianna the Bull says Agapova looks good. Yeah, she's looking good, man. Totally different fighter. I mean, back to what she used to be. She ends it with a two-piece. Ends it with another two-piece. Ooh, hard right hand by Mazo. Mazo, man, she just landed too many singles here. All right. One round to go for broke. Is she going to do what she did against Justine Keish and try to, try to get the head kick? We'll see. All right, I got 12 of y'all in here. Y'all make sure I hit the like button.
I'll be up in here watching. Come on, hit the like button. Mark Robinson said, I saw the fight, but still had the Shannon Dobson beat Agapova. Oh, Agapova just fought the wrong fight. I mean, Agapova just gassed out, really. She fought just terrible, you know what I mean? It was just not smart. All right, here we go, y'all, last round. Last round, here we go. Might as well got to go for broke. She knows how to go for broke. I would give her that, but it ain't always going to work. She's trying try to line up a head kick, putting on pressure. She's coming straight in. Body kick by Agapova. Might as well closing that distance now. Ooh. Knee from Agapova. I mean, knee from uh, Mazo for the two piece lands for Agapova. Ooh, clinched up by Mazo clinching up here. Still not getting any work. They break. Right back to following Agapova down. Agapova attack that body. Go upstairs. Oh, oh, hard right hand. Ooh, she's down. Hard right hand. Mazo's down. Choked out. Choked out. That was quick. That's her signature move. Dang. Agapova, click. Oh, wow. That was quick. Check right hook, knock Mazo almost out, out, out. I mean, she was out, but she went in for the kill. Agapova went in for the kill, got the, the rear naked choke, reps it. That's it. Wow. Look at that. Right hook. Boom. She locks in the rear naked choke. That's her signature move, too. You know, I did call that. I just didn't think she'd be able to execute it against Mazo. That's like I said, my breakdown. You know, I did say that like she does put volume together, and if she drops you, she will. If she comes with that that power and them combination, she will drop you, and she will submit you. There you go Liana Jojua. Well, dang. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. I mean, the, the striking um, look, look. Mazo, I don't know what Mazo was doing. Her striking definitely looked good. I mean, her combinations. Yeah, it was domination, man. I mean, it was just complete. I mean, Mazo. That's her prop. She just does not let her hands go enough. And she was walking into the left hand and the right. She didn't know how to handle the southpaw stop. You know, she didn't know how to handle the southpaw. So, hey, I mean, that was a bad loss. I mean, if you can't handle this 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 level of fighter, I mean, oh, man, come on. That's a lot of work that needs to be done right there. There was a lot of chances for her to take. She, yeah, she she was kind of scared to fight. Cedric, I mean, I'm going to even say scared. I would say not. I won't say she was scared. I think she just was not. Um, she didn't have the IQ. She didn't have the IQ to handle it. She just didn't have the IQ to handle the style. Like, she could not make adjustments. Like, walking right into punches. You know what I mean? Uh, Mark Robinson said, I knew Agapova was savage because how she went hard in Dobson. But I knew, but I think Mazda had more to offer than that. No, nah, Agapova against Dobson. I, don't, I wouldn't even call that savage. That was just not smart. <laughs> I mean, that was just not a smart fight. Yeah, BJ Starks, man. Wow. I'm more so wow by the way Mazo just did not adjust or do anything. 
locked it in. There you go. That's how she takes. That's how she takes out a lot of people. When she knocks you down, she submits you. That's kind of like one of her signature things, you know. Not even gonna mess with the ground and pound. She's just gonna drop you, and that'll be it. You know, she's gonna choke you out, and that'll be it. Wow, man. Yeah, I mean, Mazel is a little real immature, man. I mean, like, she just does not, she just did not look like uh, she belonged yet. Like, she didn't belong yet, <laughs> you know? That was a hard right hook. Put her down. Well, BJ, um, I don't, I don't know, BJ, if we could say she's a high-level striker now. I mean... I saw her get like I said, y'all missed the y'all y'all missed that Marina Moreau fight. She got picked apart in that fight. She got outworked in that fight. She was always a good striker, but she was never high level. You know what I mean? Like she had the she had certain tools for the level she's on, but I've never called her like high level. Like because she got picked apart against Marina Moreau. You know, so I, w- I really wouldn't call her high, high level. Justin Keach picked her apart, but she's she was okay. I don't know. I don't know how much she got left on her contract. Uh, you know, if she's, they might give her another chance, but I mean, I don't know, man. I don't, did she even tap? Like, I thought the ref just jumped in and went on and stopped because, you know, the, the punch had knocked her out. Yeah, she called out Marina Moreau. Yeah, Marina Moreau, I don't know what she's doing. I mean, don't, you know, we talk about how she ducks, but when she fight, you know, Marina Moreau be, be doing things. So, Marina Moreau did beat Myra Buena Silva, right? And she did beat Sabina Mazo. Okay, she did tap. Okay. Yeah, she, I mean, she locked it in. It's like, hey, you got to tap, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're knocked out, you basically knocked out. And then the the the, the, the um, arm is already hooked under your neck. I mean, you, you better tap. She need to work on her timing. Mark Rogers to Agapova lost to Tracy Cortez. Interesting. Got to go watch it. Yeah, she did. It was a close fight. It was a close fight, but she she wanted. Yeah, Tracy Cortez. She's beat some people though. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, Robert. I don't know what Marina Murrow is up to, but when she does fight, we I, I can't. I can't count her out. I mean, she disappoints me, like, because she didn't show up for Manon Firo, but, and she didn't show up for her last fight. But when um, Marina Moreau fights, hey, Marina Moreau comes with it, man. Marina Moreau, she does, She's she's got the wins over Mazo and the win over Myra Buena Silva, so. I don't know if she fights Agapova. You know, Agapova is a world class boxer. She has good wrestling. Uh, I mean, she just be she be pissing us off because she don't fight, right? But when she does fight, she can't count her out. We just said Agapova versus Manon. Oh yeah, I would like that. I'm still in favor of Manon, but. You know, I'm not going. 
I'm not going to try to put Agapova on his high horse yet. Just because what she did here. I mean, Mazo just does not have the IQ. I mean, I would like to see that, but I'm going to definitely favor Manone in that fight, though. Manone has the attack. Manone has the speed. She has the work rate. She's got the strength. Uh, she's got everything. Ma Let me put it this way. She got everything Mazo didn't have. All right. <laughs> she got everything Mazo didn't have. She's got the trigger. She's going to pull the trigger. Yeah, I ain't putting it. Not off of that. Just, you know, I ain't going to go and jump on that. You no, know, because you already seen what Agapova's looked like last year. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I did put Manon on that high horse. Damn right, I did. <laughs> you damn right, put her on that high horse for sure. But, but I didn't put Mazo up there. I put my I put my known up there for sure because she's already shown the focus. She's already shown the focus in the in the uh, the tools of being a complete fighter. Agapova, not necessarily. I mean, the fight would be good, but I'd still go for Manon in that, for sure. Yeah, all day long, I'd still go for Manon, though. I mean, she's got everything put together. I mean, this was just a striking clinic. You think she really going to be the world? That's truly, you know, a world-class striker. You know, karate, kickboxing, um, boxing. Oh, BJ, you know, you, you, <laughs> we just say, I know you are. Man. Hey, and look, I'm here all day, man. You know, I got bars all day. I got bars all day for, for, you know, when it come down to Manon, I will break that down for you and why she'll beat Agapova all day. It's different. It's one thing if she would have been like a grappler and you put her against Manon, then we might talk, but. You talking like she gonna outstrike Manon Firo, who's already shown she's a better striker than Mazo. You know what I mean? Like, what did what did Mazo do in this fight? Nothing, right? What does Manon do in her fights? You've already seen Mazo do this before. You've seen Mazo do this before. Mazo, again, y'all forget the fight. Mazo lost to Marina Moreau already, and I called it. I said that if she get this work rate on her, she's going to lose. All right, so Mazo almost lost to Justine Keish. It was her head kick. Right? It was the head kick. That was the only thing that really saved Mazo in the Justine Keish fight. So that shows you that her work rate is not there. And she's still not a person that can, a fighter that can deal with that type of strike. But yeah, overall, um, overall, um, Agapova striking impressed me here because she was dealing with a come forward fighter. She was dealing with a come forward fighter where you could just pick her apart. You really think Manon Firo is going to be getting picked apart like that? Come on, that's her thing, man. The boss said Agapova is better than I expected, but she's not beating Manon. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, this is where Agapova left off at. I will tell you that. This is where she left off at. Like, that's why I was expecting a good fight. You know, if she could leave the Shannon Dobson act alone at that type of fight, she picks up where she left off. She'll, you know, She'll look impressive to you. You know, go back and look at her Invicta fights. And go back and look at some of her other fights. You know, this is what she this is what she looked like. This is the Agapova I remember. Um, Mazo though, uh, just just let Agapova take the lead and set her up for the biggest biggest counter punches and uh, body kicks. And, ah man, wow. IQ is just not there. 
Uh, Mark Robinson, Agapova impressed me. I'm not sure if it's just that Mazda was that slow and not at her level. Um, I think it's a mixture of both. I think, again, you know, when Agapova hit the scene, she's, I will say, Agapova, when she hit the scene, she has looked more impressive to me than Mazo. I will say that. Uh, when she hit the scene, she has, but I thought she kind of fell off. And then I was looking at what Mazo could do when it came down to her style and how she picked her shots. Um, I didn't think she would be that slow. I thought her timing would have been better, you know, but I think Mazo um, does have, I thought she did have the type of style that would have lured Agapova in, but Agapova, she played the counter puncher and that was smart. You know, this is what her striking looks like whenever she's focused. So yeah, Agapova does look, or did look impressive in the beginning and now she's picking it back up. So, yes, yeah, she is back in that mix now. Uh, like I said, I, I, I still think Manone is much more uh, impressive the way she puts it together, where she's at. I don't want to see them fight right now, though. Yeah, no defense. No defense at all, man. I was, that was terrible. Well, you know, her head is on the line. You know, I, I talked about that in my breakdown video. So she did, she does keep her head on the line, and that's going to be a punch vest. I was just like, oh, man, like your head is staying on the line. You're just going to get beat up here, man. What? Tim Elliott's next. Okay. Um, Mark Robinson, yeah, I was not impressed expecting Mazo to be that aggressive. Yeah, I wasn't either. I wouldn't expect it. I thought she was going to take the center of the octagon and let Agapova come to her, but she came out walking her down, man, like chasing it, walking right into the straight left hands, man. I was like, what's going on here? You know? And when she clinched up, she wasn't that strong either. <laughs> you know? Tim Elliott fights next. I'm gonna. There's two more fights before the main event. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna jump off of here before we get into the main event. Yeah, I'm gonna jump off before we get into the main event. But yeah, before I go, let's see. Uh, hold on. Yeah, definitely, Bluebird. That's what I've been telling everybody. Yeah, Silva's going to answer some questions, but her skill, her skill set, and everything she shows, it looks better than a lot of fighters. That's the thing. Like, if you do the eye test, if you do the eye test on her versus Casey O'Neill, who looks more impressive? You know, we look at Casey O'Neill all day and say she needs to work on this and work on that, but she's putting together wins. When you look to get look, you look at Manon Firo, you say, Oh man, she's got this, she's got that, but she just needs the names now, right? So when she does that against Silva, that'll answer some questions for sure. Moro Agapova, that'd be a good striking fight, too. I mean, I mean, if if Moreau shows up, I don't I'm not gonna count her out. I mean, I'm, again, I get pissed when Moreau don't fight, but when she pulls out of these fights. But when she comes, she fights. And she is a world-class boxer. She's not going to walk into the stuff that Manon Hero is doing. So, I mean, excuse me, that that um, that Sabina Mazo was walking into, you know, um, Moreau. But she'll probably pull out. <laughs> she could probably go pull out before they even schedule it, so. She gonna pull out before they schedule the fight. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on, with Marie, Marina Moreau, man. I mean, if she pulls out on every fight, though. I, man, I, I I wouldn't even call her out, man. I wouldn't even waste my time calling her out. Man. 
But I know you see that BJ Le Leana Joju is in the corner of Agapova. Hey, Leana Joju would need to learn that striking from her, her partner right there. Like I was, I was looking at that. I was like, they both fly weights, and she got that that you got that striker in your in your camp. Leona Jojo, she could take some pointers from that type of striking. I know it's a fight. I like this. I would like this. I've, I've been wanting to see, eventually, I like to see Marina, excuse me, I like to see Maria Agapova and Miranda fight. Miranda Maverick and Agapova, that would be a good fight. You know, that height, size difference in those two style matchups. Yeah, I'd like to see Maverick and Agapova at some point. That would be a good fight. Yeah, definitely. That would be good. That would be good. I've been kind of wanting to see that since, like, last year. I don't know. That fight just pulled up and popped up in my head. I was like, if... Agapova continues to work before she lost to Shannon Dobson. I was like, I'd like to see Miranda and Agapova fight. You know, eventually, man, if they get both to get to the top 15. I like that style matchup for some reason. All right, y'all, let me jump off of here. Um, I'm going to jump back on in another fight or two for the main event. And we will. We're going to rock it, all right? We're going to rock the main event. It's a five-rounder. Y'all come on back in in about another hour or so, and we will call the main events. I will be right back, y'all.